Welcome to the J Crazy News Headlines. Now, people of Jamaica, the government, the JP government, have actually announced more SOE for the next 14 days. Following a meeting which happened earlier this morning by the Prime Minister in the House of Parliament. Now, the SOE comes of the same parishes like St. Anne, St. James, Hanover, Westmoreland. St. Catherine and some parts of Kingston. Now my viewers and subscribers, I say this to you time and time again. The SOE is not stopping crime. It only slow down criminal but actually push criminals into parishes where there is no SOE and those criminals start to create havoc in those parishes that has no SOE. So SOE alone cannot work. You have to have strong police and military presence in committees which are deemed troubled. While well, some persons are actually grateful for the SOE because it actually gives them a place of peace and tranquility. But the SOE actually is detrimental to some other persons, especially in parishes that have no SOE. Because Whenever there are SOE in parishes and parishes like Manchester that has no SOE and St. Bess that have no SOE, robberies go up, murders go up, shooting go up, breaking go up, everything just goes up. So the Prime Minister is actually trying to move in heavy presence also into parishes that has no SOE like Manchester and St. Elizabeth because in real life they know that the criminals are fleeing the SOE parishes and going into Manchester and St. Bess and actually making residents of those two parishes very uncomfortable and to mention persons who are business in those two parishes we will see what will go on in the next 14 days but people trust me it's CMO CMO result Soldiers, police stand at one checkpoint, they don't go into the communities and actually search. Or do they do that? But nevertheless, this government have been putting an SOE for quite some time. But to the point that I believe the Prime Minister has no other solutions to stop crime or mayhem in this country. Now I've seen a small little details of this young man who is Roger Griffiths, a little man who was found dead in Portmore, which I believe to be a cane field. Now this news is very slim because it has made the news media, the widespread news media, to the forefront and at the core. But you see a lot of vloggers talking about it and sharing it and small persons on social media are saying things about it even though it's not impactful but what I've gathered from it is that this young man who is Roger Griffiths actually delivers things I don't know if his sayings are actually delivers things but he was found dead in Portmore which believe he was murdered now I've saw a clip of a voice note with a young lady who was talking on WhatsApp and she was saying that she paid for some shoes or something, some item where he wasn't delivered as yet. And she cause they call him and call him back and forth and basically she didn't get the answer some of the time. And when she do, did get the answer, there's actually an argument between Roger and her. I said before, the details of what transpired, it's a little clipping or message that I heard or saw, not the full details, but what I get from that, that is that she was very upset in her voice note, and she was saying that if she don't get her things then, she had the police take her bike, etc, etc, to the point where she made a threat, 
Now, if you want to watch your interview of her, you can go to I am Andre Stevens on YouTube, where he was actually interviewing her. Uh, she was saying that she had nothing to do with his death. But there was a threat in the voice note. So the police are really pointing fingers at her, at her because she was disgruntled by him. And now he's been found murdered in Portmore. As I was saying before, the information on this case or this murder of the little man who is known as Roger Griffiths, you know, really hit mainstream media with widespread information. Persons know about it, but not much. But some of you don't gather more information. That's why go direct into it and what transpired actually why he was killed. What has been said online is that he was actually killed over a delivery made with the item that his shoes or slippers was a fake brand. It wasn't a genuine brand which the person paid enough money for. The less people want to go into it deeper, get some information and tell you what I'll go on. Now I know many of you are actually got a thumbnail, right? It's the words big and broad. The Coke family and members of the young generation gang are actually demanding and forcing bus drivers and bus operators to charge the passengers extra money which is called extortion money in downtown Kingston bus park. It has been happening for actually a few months now. And the government of Jamaica and the police station beside the bus park don't know where I go on, which is Darling Street Police Station. But I'm pretty sure that they know what is going on. I'm talking bus drivers who operate the town to Manchester, the town to Savlamar, the town to Old Harbour, the town to Maypin and Clarendon and other areas including Montego Bay, other parishes that these bus operators and bus drivers drive to. Now, the bus passengers are being charged $50 or $100 extra on their bus fare because based on information and based on information when these bus drivers are asked why they might collect extra they say that if they don't collect extra and give it to the coke family or the young generation gang they can end up being killed or their foot or their hands broken by members of the YG gang, which is the Young Generation gang. Now to the police commissioner, the security minister, the JCF, the JDF, who need to intervene because passengers are being charged extortion money. This is not right. This is not lawful. These criminals are having their way too much in this country. It is time we expose them and get rid of them, either by will or by force. So Mr. Chang, check it out, because the Coke family and the young generation gang are charging ex-passengers in downtown Kingston Bus Park, extortion money to go on these buses to different parishes. This is Jay Chris News once again. Until then, bless up.
Yeah man, I'm here see a black legend. I'm here represent for J Crazy YouTube review in channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe, and share out the thing. J Crazy YouTube review in channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. J Crazy not play when he my review the thing them. J Crazy YouTube review in channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. J Crazy not play when he my review the thing them. Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle Review the thing them, review the thing them